Hi everyone, it's Carissa and welcome to another adventure here on my channel. For this vlog, I will take you guys with me as I explore the beautiful island of Malapascua. So to get here, instructions are stated in the screen. Feel free to pause or screenshot. I've got something I don't need to hide. Struck by lightning, you make Once you reach Mayapur, you will need to fill up something and pay for the environmental fee. Once that's done, you need to ride a boat from Mayapur to Malapasco port. You need to film another form here and then here. Once we reached Malapasco port, we rode a bike going to the place we're staying at. It's actually pretty near, like 15 to 20 minute walk. So here we are and the place that we are staying at is called Pareja Tourist Inn. And here's a little room tour for you guys. The room is pretty good, if I say so myself. Then we settled in, rest a bit, and looked for something to eat. Then we found this place. It's a two-minute walk from the place we were staying at. It's called The Beach Hub. They have a wide variety of food and it's delicious and pretty cheap compared to the other places that we looked at. So here's their drink menu. They have cocktails, shakes, fresh juices. Feel free to pause and take a screenshot if you want. I highly recommend this place if you're on a budget. It's super cheap and the quality of food is excellent. After eating, we went back to our room and freshened up a bit and decided to explore Bounty Beach a little bit. It's pretty near about 4 to 5 minute walk. And so here's what the Bounty Beach looked like. So we just walk around, explored it a bit, took some pictures, and that's it. So here's what Bounty Beach looked like at nighttime. It's packed with people, food are really expensive here, but this is where the fun happens according to the locals, so we were curious and checked it out. I've got some feelings that I 
I've kept inside. So there was an acoustic band going on. We just listen a bit. And also we catch a fire dancing event, which was really good timing. Also, if you're feeling a little posh and you want to splurge on food, I recommend this place. So here's the fire dancing event. Feel free to skip or watch if you want. Up to you. So here's day two. This is where the tour happens. So we are heading to Bounty Beach to catch our boat. This is Kuya Lasco. He handled everything from the place we stayed at to organizing the tour. I will leave his contact details at the description box below and feel free to contact him directly. So first stop is called Daket Daket Island. That right there is Daket Daket Island. So it's actually a track of land surrounded by high water. Basically, it's not allowed to fish here because of the corals. It's a really good diving spot as well. I've got some the water is so clear, you can clearly see the fish from the surface. Since I don't have a GoPro yet, it's a bit blurry. I just captured this from my phone, from an iPhone 11. But you can still clearly see the fishes. It's not as clear as the GoPro, but you get the idea. For the next stop, we are heading to the Japanese shipwreck. This is the Japanese ship destroyed from World War II, as what our tour guide said. As you can see, there's not much left of it, so you can barely see the shape of the ship. I tried to swim as near as I could, but I got pretty scared, I don't know why. It's a bit scary to go near it. And so for our last stop, we are headed to Langov Beach or North Beach.
Also, there are very limited food stalls here. Although the food is very cheap and affordable. After spending almost three hours at Lango Beach, we then headed back to Bounty Beach. Actually, there was supposed to be another stop which is coral garden but we decided to skip it since we didn't have gopro and according to our tour guide it's pretty much the same as dakit dakit island so we just decided to skip it once we reach bounty beach we decided to swim a bit since the water looks super inviting i mean just look at that i've got something i don't Struck by lightning, you me glide. I'll keep swimming right across the sea. Won't stop dreaming of what we could be. that it was time to go home so sad so we grabbed our things left her in and grabbed lunch and went on our merry way home and that's the end of my vlog i hope this was helpful please do like share with your friends and comment if you have questions and please do subscribe please see you on my next video bye